previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of a better Jesse. <laughs> And now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Thing to fortify these tunnels into town. Hey. You think Zara used this tunnel to get into Beacon Town too? Maybe. I still just can't believe she thinks she can take the Admin on alone. I mean, we all knew she was a couple ingots short of a bucket. <laughs> I guess. Can't help but wonder if she would have been a bit more even keeled if she'd just gotten some darn rest. We've just got a really scary plan as it is. Knowing that at any minute Zara could come along is kind of stressing me out. Yeah, I know. I'm with you on that one. Right? I think it's really brave that she wants to try and face Romeo. Not everyone has that kind of courage. But is it courage to run into a fight that you're almost definitely not going to win? That just seems dumb. <laughs> but there are a lot of people who would call what we're doing dumb. If she tries to confront Romeo before we can take his powers away, that'll be bad for everyone. Maybe it's for the best that Binta and the Fred Towners didn't make it out of the underneath. It would really stick to get above the bedrock just to have the admin, uh, you know. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the thing! Here we go.
just want to bet that's where the primary terminal is. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. Wait, what are you... Hand down, Romeo! Zara! I mean, do I know you? Zara! What is she doing? Don't play dumb with me, Romeo. Whatever Jesse here told you, it's all a lie! No, no, no! I'm afraid that's where you stop talking. Speaking of, Stella, you're gonna have my fireworks display ready, yes? Yes, Admin. Uh, Jesse. Very good. I think the Admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. Oh, Zara. How I wish it didn't have to end that way. Uh... Get over here, you iron simpleton. This was your fault, you hear? If you were any good at your job, you wouldn't have allowed someone like her in here. Because of your incompetence, I had to go... had to go and do that. Well now, who do we have here? Crud. A world beneath the bedrock? 
Yeah, I still think he made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Exactly. Honestly, I'm trying not to think about it. I do the same thing all the time with stuff that stresses me out. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Are, are you okay? I, I, I can't believe Zara just rushed in blind like that. Well, what was she thinking? Zara was... complicated. But she didn't deserve that. Nobody should have that kind of power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. <laughs> Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Ugh, that'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. Huh. Huh. <sighs> Come on, hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> Yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Zara, I'm a little more aware of how vulnerable we are, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. We're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, Nurm, you doing okay? Well, hang in there, okay? We're going to make this right. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh... I think we've all lost stuff at this point, Jack. We're all in this together. We're gonna fight back. Yeah. Yeah. You're totally right. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. How you doing, buddy? Just thinking about the people back in Fred's keep. I mean, I'm happy to be here. Really. Just... Uh, let me know if you find anything, okay? Roger that. Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these 
Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? I deserve that. But how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my gosh, do you know who that is? That is Ivor! Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Oh, this is so totally embarrassing. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. Ivor, right? What's up? Yes, I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... The... <coughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes! Hi! Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success! And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. I was surprised, but this animal is quite the escape artist. I may consider naming her my apprentice, though she will need a mask. I'm so sorry that you had to be left behind. It must have been terrible. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information.